Oh, ganito pala ang pakiram ng pagkikinig. Talagang hindi niya matiis, in short. You know, it was your birthday. September 14, 19... Uh, September 14, 2019, sorry. Ang tagal nung 19... When I was born, you were talking to me. Sorry. Niligawan mo na ako. guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi everyone! So for today's vlog, we'll be answering some questions you guys sent over to my Instagram stories. Let's do it! So I think the most common question people have for us is, what is our love story? How we met, you know, how we fell in love. Actually, because my mom and Hannah's mom are, are really, really good friends. They've been friends for a while, but the kids never really met each other until one day... Our family friend, Dom, just graduated from... Oh, right. You know, University yeah. So she just graduated. So my mom hosted a dinner for Dom. When I walked in the room, it was like tunnel vision, you know? Like, I was mesmerized by your beauty. Oh. Like, ikaw talaga yung nakita ko. Like, first person I saw, and I was like, Wow, I was speechless. But that's my Junene pa nun, ha? No, but you were so you were so beautiful. Let's include a photo so that oh people my God. know. And when Matt came, I was already tipsy. I'm a lightweight. Yeah. The funny thing is, that time we didn't really get to talk yet. I remember he was super friendly. He was super warm. But I remember thinking, my I think my first impression from that night was Matt is so charming. Wow, ganito pala ang pakiram na pakinikin. <laughs> <laughs> Since that night, I didn't really make a move on Hannah yet. It was an In short, time. torpe pa siya. Torpe pa ako nun, guys. One day, I decided to add her on Facebook. The first request, you never accepted it. I don't know if you didn't notice or I know you just didn't accept it. So I retracted the friend request because I got a little humiliated. Mm -hmm. Akala I got rejected. Oh my god, you yeah. were overthinking it. You I, I think I was. was. What? I just didn't see it. You didn't see it? Okay. I had no idea. <laughs> Yon, one day, um, I sent another one. Talagang hindi niya matiis, in short. Finally, she accepted it. The first time we spoke, I still remember, it was on Facebook, Messenger. You know, it was your birthday. September 14, 99. Uh, September 14, 2090, sorry. Ang tagal nung 19. When I was born, you were talking to me. Sorry. Niligawan mo na ako. Yung birthday niya noon was September 14, 2017. So, I read her happy birthday on Facebook Messenger. And ever since then, we just... We never stopped talking. We never stopped talking. Literally. So, best move of my life. The moral lesson of the story, if you like someone... Yeah, go for it. Next question from Maurice... Mo one. Your favorite go to Jap restaurant. Favorite go to Jap restaurant. In Manila, my favorite would be Kyoto. Hindi siya a la carte, but it's, it's omakase. Omakase. Yeah. So it's good value for your money because you get a good like you get a good variety of different kinds of Japanese food. And then they take note of your last visit so you never have the same menu. For me, Tsukiji has the best a la carte. Mga ramen, syempre, there's mendokoro. Yeah, but we haven't eaten that in a while. Yeah. Oh, I also really like Daimasu. It's a low-key Japanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very clean. Because yeah, it's very Japanese. Yeah, but that's why I like it, because it's low-key. Like, mm -hmm. it's quiet, it's clean. Kazunori is good naman, the gyoza is good. Next question from A and a bunch of random numbers. How old were you when you got married? I was 22, 28. Next question from Chariz FG. Hi Hannah, sino makulit sa inyo ni Matt yung mahilig mang asar? I think both of us. Yeah, you know guys, the thing is, Hannah and I are makulit in different ways. Matt is makulit like outright. He can be makulit around anyone. Yes. Ako naman, I'm super makulit, but only around around me. Certain people, yeah. Especially Mostly Matt, obviously, because we live together, we sleep together. Especially at night, guys. Yeah. She, <laughs> mga gibberish words gonna. I would tell them, but you might. No, don't. Anyway, you're gonna have if, Kirsten edit it out. It takes a, a while and a lot for me to get comfortable around people. Mm -hmm. So there are only a handful of people I'm super comfortable with, and they are the same people who would know how weird I am. Actually, yeah. in reality. Next question from Freya Yvette. What's your top five travel bucket list? I really want to go to Switzerland. I want to go to the Bahamas, St. Barthes. Yeah. I also really, really want to go to South America, like Mexico, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brazil. Okay. While Hannah's thinking, can I give my yeah, top Yeah, go. So my top five would be, first would probably be the Maldives. I heard that the Maldives is sinking too. So it's a place that you want to go to now before it's gone. Number two would probably be Patagonia or Chile. Uh, number three, Russia. So St. Petersburg would be beautiful, I'm sure. Number four, I want to go to Antarctica. You know, it's one of those places that not a lot of people 
go to. You know, apparently there's a lot of wildlife and it's very exotic. Oh, my fourth is, sorry. Oh, go ahead. South Africa. Oh, South Africa, okay. We were supposed to go there. Yeah, we were supposed to go. 2020, but... Na pandemic tayo, yeah. guys, so hindi na tuloy. Okay. Number five is Morocco. I asked my parents about it before and they said it's an overrated place, but... No, I've seen photos of it and it looks like a really, really nice place. It feels so old. And Egypt yeah. as well, actually. I would oh, yeah. love to go to Egypt, see the, the pyramids and the Valley of the Dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, my those bucket places. list. Holy land. That's my fifth. Okay. So at least you guys now have an idea of what the next episodes are going to be like. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, next question from Janina Glycone. Your course and maths course in college. I took up um, legal management in Ateneo. I studied in Switzerland for one semester. I took up hotel restaurant management and I did not enjoy it. So I came back home and I studied entrepreneurship in Enderon Colleges, which is something I enjoyed. From underscore BLRNZ, how stressful was the wedding planning? <sighs> My biggest tip is hire a good coordinator oh yes because it's your first time planning a wedding you have no idea what you need what you're supposed to do who the best suppliers are i mean obviously you, you probably read about these suppliers i mean you've seen posts but you have no idea how it's like working with them the right? like sometimes it might just not be a good fit but having a good coordinator you already get an idea of what to expect all those things I couldn't so. agree more we were actually very fortunate to hire um, auntie jenny from the wedding company as she's so organized you can tell that she's done a lot of weddings mm -hmm. she's you know, so she's nice super she's experienced so nice. and she's her. so nice and you know guys we were so lucky as well because when we were planning our wedding it was in the pandemic yet we had everything settled now and then when the pandemic hit obviously we had to cancel she was the one who did most of it the wedding planner is the heart of your wedding you know he or she is the glue to everything. We digress. Yeah, I know. What would you say was the most stressful part of the wedding? Because on my end, I had to handle all the finances. So that on its yeah. own was pretty stressful, especially towards the end when we were getting closer to the wedding day. Last minute things, you need to make sure that you've mm -hmm. paid for this, paid for that. What I did was I made a list on Excel and I- Because even to the last month, like the month on your wedding, there's still expenses mm -hmm. to pay. There's yeah. add-ons, like yeah. you think of something that, oh, I want this pala, I want this, I want that. So, you know, these things add up towards the end of the, the planning stage. And so. I think also, for me huh, personally, one of the most stressful parts of the planning was the seating arrangement. Because if you guys have seen oh, yes. on our Instagram, I forgot about that. Our layout is super different. So, yes. when you plan the seating arrangement, you also have to make sure like people know each other like mm -hmm. for sure syempre hindi pwedeng awkward yeah hindi pwedeng like random or people you just yung, put them there hindi pwedeng magkaaway you put them together <laughs> next question from the same person visiting philippines in a few months best spot for steak oh if you want something fine dining maybe if you have a date mm -hmm. you know with a nice bottle of red wine go to albert steakhouse in makati you cannot go wrong. You pay for the steak, it comes with an appetizer, a soup, or a salad, and a dessert. I also like Mamu. Mamu steaks are good like, too. Classic. So that one's a little yeah. bit more casual. Very much like Peter Luger steak. I also like Chef Jesse. Oh, Their yes. steaks are good. Chef I Jesse like their pepper tenderloin. Good. Those are our top three. Skincare routine, what contact lens and makeup you use. I think I should do a separate vlog for this. Yes. It's gonna be a long one, so. Hannah will have a special episode just for that. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, next question. <laughs> Barbie one underscore downtown. How to handle finance? You need to make sure you list down all your expenses. What I do is I list down all my monthly expenses in a piece of paper. It gives me an idea of how much I spend in a month. And with that, you would know now how much your spending power is. If you know how much you're earning in a year, you can delegate a certain percentage towards how much you can spend. But you know, I always tell everyone, it's very important to save. When I was single, I was doing 80-20. 80% I save, 20% I spend. But ever since I got married and then ever since we've had Max, Shemper, I had to increase the budget more. So, you know, with a family, I'd say if you can, save 70% and then spend 30%. I think that's a good number. Yeah, but I also know that that's not the reality for most families. And I understand that. Yeah, the out of necessity. But I think as long as you're saving even just a bit, even just a small portion of what you're making, save for the rainy days, you if can you can, to the best of your ability. No matter how small you're saving, you're still saving, that's still a good start. Mm -hmm. So next question from not underscore Megs is 
Matt your first BF. Yes, Matt was my first boyfriend. First guy I dated. I'm a cynic guy, so I wasn't never the type to like go around on dates. From Mary Ging and Z. Do you live with your in-laws or do you have your own place? We still live with my in-laws. Yeah, so right now we still live with my parents. Yes. But hopefully construction of our house starts by the end of this year. So that in two years' time, is that a realistic I think estimate? It could be, yes. It could be two years. So hopefully, in two years' time, we'll eventually move into our own home. Yeah. Lenga or Perez. Sino ang madalas mang away? Hindi kasi kami madalas mag away eh. When Hannah and I fight, it's not usually small things that we fight about. I think the most important thing is when we fight, there's still respect no matter what. Mm -hmm. And we give each other the space that we need. Especially when, you, when you're heated, you know, you yeah. say things you don't mean. I think it's important that you take a step back, think about what you're about to say, or just walk away, pull off before you even say something that you yeah. might regret. I'm very big on space. Like, I really need my own space, my peace and quiet. Matt naman is the opposite. Uh, yeah, actually, that's something that I've been really working on. One of the questions also is most challenging part of your relationship. Eh? So I think okay. that would be one of the most challenging yeah. parts na. My personality kasi is when we fight, I want to fix it right away. That's just how mm -hmm. I've always been. I don't like it when we don't talk. Mm -hmm. Over the years of being with Hannah, I've learned how to be more patient about it, give her the space that she needs to give myself space as well so that I can reflect on yeah. what just happened, you know, it's you know, it's just all about compromise. It is. It really is. You have to is. respect each other's ways of coping, mm -hmm. ways of dealing with couldn't agree more. You know, conflict. Mm -hmm. Next question from I am Grizel. Are you guys planning to have a second baby? Yes, we are. Yeah, oh. we, in the very near future. K R N L H C H. What's your age gap? Five, six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From Clean Chain, how's Max's sleeping routine? Do you co-sleep? Max was sleep trained as early as six months. So no, he doesn't co-sleep with us. He has his own room. He has his own crib. That's where he sleeps all the time. Um, He sleeps at 8 p.m. all the time. He has a yaya. His yaya sleeps with him in the room on a separate bed. Mm -hmm. So from Bright Light 24, what's your exercise program? We don't <laughs> exercise, guys. That's Actually, the reality. Yeah. yeah. Before the pandemic, I I used to go to the gym with my dad. Those were my healthier days, I'd say. Yeah. But, you know, uh, during the pandemic, yeah, we, we weren't able to keep it yeah. up because especially when things got a little bit more normal, we started traveling. So yeah. we keep breaking the streak and it's so hard to get back on a streak. But once we you used break to it. run up and down the stairs. Yeah, so one of the things we did was we'd go up and down the stairs at home, which is a great way to lose weight. It's a good cardio workout. We would also walk around the village. Yeah, we also have a home gym. It's a very minimalistic set. Up lang. Treadmill and an elliptical. So those are the sort of things we did. Next question from I love Seti. How your husband make lambing to you? Like this. I love you. Aww. Yeah, physical touch kind of guy. I'd like to think I'm also a gift giver. Yeah. I try to get Hannah everything that she wants. I mean, as much as possible, I give you what you want. Um, disclaimer, I'm not a spoiled brat. No, she's not. <laughs> I do not she's not at all. A lot. Actually, when there's something she wants, even when she wants it already, it's like, okay, it's there. Let's buy it. And she's like, no, I got to think about it first. She always tells me it needs to speak to me. I'm like, yeah. what does it no, say to you? <laughs> what does it say to you? It tells me, come buy me. Yeah, so when she really wants something, before she even buys it, she thinks about it. And then when she can't get it off her mind, then she's I like... I sleep on it. And yeah. then I'm like, sometimes I'm like, Matt, I can't sleep. Parang I really need to get it. Yeah, so then she's, I get it. And you know, that's not often. So hindi naman lahat ng gusto ko sabi ko kay Matt, Matt, I can't sleep. I need to get it. Yeah, she's not no, like, no, that. like that. I actually get very guilty when I make a big purchase. That's okay. That's Don't. why I always have to like keep thinking about you know when my I buy life you, decisions. You know when I buy you something <laughs> and I see how happy you are, it makes me feel oh. ten times happier. So oh, I love you. I, I'm That's actually sweet. the one who's benefiting from this the most. <laughs> the best. Okay. She's the best. <laughs> Next question from Mrs. Underscore Co. Mm, chips. <laughs> Guys, obvious bang. So we chill lang namin. Mm -mm, chill na chill kami dito. Wait lang, I'm chewing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, from Mrs. Underscore Co, what's your diet like and how do you maintain that slim body? Right now, I don't really diet. Like, I eat whatever I want. I do fasting, so intermittent fasting. So I eat at 12 noon till like 8 p.m. And then I'll fast from 8 p.m. to 12 noon the next day. That's like a part of my lifestyle now. 
no conscious effort on my part. I don't recommend it, especially if you're used to having breakfast and if you wake up super early. Because baka mahilo ka sa morning, especially if you go to work or if you're gonna work out. From there, no, 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 no. What's your secret to staying fit and fab? Did you just answer that? <laughs> I think. Bloopers. No, no, Matt. It's the it's a different question. Okay, okay. Um. Dead day 15. I no work more. I don't work. I stay at home. I'm a stay at home mom. Well, to be I fair. I take care of my two kids, my panganay and Maxwell. To be fair, being a stay at home mom, being a mom in general is a difficult job. And, you know, I, I, I admire you for what you do. Oh, Especially thanks. seeing how full it Max is. Must take a lot. Yeah, but I also have a lot of help at home, so I'm very fortunate. But mm -hmm. obviously, even if you have a lot of help, parang, it's still you as a parent raising your child talaga. and you're definitely doing a good job things, Max like, is yeah. a good boy. things like that you can't just make asa yeah so yeah yes but you you have to be present you have to be hands-on ako naman i'm working for my family business so i'm doing finance yeah from terry rose Hureta, what do you guys do on a typical day well typical we've been day. traveling a lot since january so Either we're traveling or we're at home and when we're at home, we really rest. As much as possible, I like to stay home lang. When I am in Manila, I play with Max, take care of him. Matt works at home. And yeah, sometimes we'll do dinner out, but most of the time, I really prefer to stay at home. I've become such a home body ever since the pandemic. Before, like, I was super lakochera. I always have to be out, always, <laughs> in the mall. That. Yeah. Eating out, hanging out with my family or with Matt. Now naman, Matt's like, why do I wanna have lunch out? Let's have lunch out. I'm like, please no, I'm so lazy. <laughs> From Anelka Abarisha. How does it feel to be a mom at an early age? How am I supposed to answer it? Like it's not like I have a point of comparison. I only know being a mom at a young age. Feels normal. I get a lot of help nga, diba? like I said earlier. So Max is a really, really, really good kid. He's very empathetic at two plus years old. He knows right from wrong. Like he knows when he does something wrong. Mm -hmm. And he listens. Yeah, he listens. Yes. And ever since I was younger, it was my dream to be a mom. So when I had Max and when I got married early, parang I was just very oh. happy. That has always been my dream and you know, God gave it to me. Next question from Bees in a Trap. How to deal with people thinking you're rude even if you're not rude. Sometimes I can relate to this question because I'm a very shy person. Like, I'm very reserved. It takes a lot for me to get comfortable in a social situation. But I've learned na it's really easy to be misunderstood if, diba? Obviously, if you don't reach out first, if you don't say hi. So sometimes I just force myself and I just get over it. Just, you know, so you won't always be in a comfortable position. So just suck it up, drink some wine, and socialize. <laughs> to answer your question, um, how to deal with people who think you're rude when you're not. Honestly, you don't have to deal with them. Yeah. I mean, as long as you know you're not being rude, you're not mean, you're not doing anyone harm, let it go. I mean, easier said than done, but what can you do? You're, you want to spend your life like trying to prove people wrong? There's so much more to life than what other people think of you. So if you, they think you're rude but you're really not, then they ju and they just don't yeah. know you well enough. Yeah. That's just mean, it. You won't be everyone's cup of tea and that's perfectly fine. Okay guys, so for our last question from Freya Yvette again. What is it like to be Matt and Hannah? A normal day in our life is just we wake up we take a bath, we play with Max, we eat lunch. We take a nap in the afternoon if sobrang busog kami from lunch. We play with Max, I prepare Max's snacks, his food, his lunch, his dinner sometimes. Actually, most of the time, and then Matt gets to work in the afternoon till nighttime. Mm -hmm. We eat dinner, Matt finishes his work, I give Max a bath, I put him to bed, I play with him, and when he's asleep, sometimes Matt would still be working, I just wait for him to finish, we'll watch a movie, we'll talk. We'll sleep. That's a normal day in our life. We're yeah. Very, very ordinary. I mean, we're, we're super blessed to be able to do that. We don't have to worry so much about life, things, responsibilities. 
our life is very relaxed. That's what I mean by ordinary. And there's no fuss. There's, it's not glamorous. I mean, if we did an episode of a day in the lives of Matt and Hannah, you guys would probably find it boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the perfect answer. I don't know if we. <laughs> yeah, we travel a lot. Revenge travel. Yeah, we're guys. so we're so blessed to be able to do, especially since Max isn't in school yet. All right, guys, that concludes our Q and A episode. But don't worry if there are more questions that you want to ask. Stay tuned to Hannah's Instagram because she leaves question boxes in her story and you can also leave the questions in our youtube page so if you like this vlog please like leave a comment and subscribe stay tuned for more bye everyone